Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Bert. On today's video, I'll be talking about my experience with touring Taxa Cricket with my 2022 Toyota 4Runner. Over about three weeks, of two and a half weeks of time period, I had experience towing cricket, 2017 cricket, with my 2022 Toyota 4Runner. I drove everywhere, places like Monument Valley where it's flat, up and down the mountain, and some places where I shouldn't drive on, like this off-road trail near Moab, Utah. Here are my insights on driving, towing, cricket with a 4Runner, 6 thunder vehicle. It is my opinion that 1700 pound cricket and 6 thunder Toyota 4Runner is an excellent match. And here are reasons why. You can tell that there are hardly any sag on the rear suspension. And you will also notice that the height at the end of my SUV and the height of the beginning part of the Cricut is about the same. I believe this results in excellent aerodynamic characteristics. And on top of that, Cricut is designed aerodynamically, resulting in less wind resistance. I believe this results in less drag and rest, less resistance and improved performance. I believe that this also results in good combination of power slash torque and the weight of the trailer. I was getting about 15 to 16, sometimes even better miles per gallon on fairly relatively flat road. 2000 RPM on the fourth gear at 55 and about 2100 RPM at 70 miles per hour and this is on fifth gear. Also I found no need for weight distribution hitch. My biggest advice for someone who's thinking about towing cricket is Make sure you don't drive on overdrive. I think that puts too much stress and strain on your transmission and it may result in a premature um, breakdown of transmission fluid and transmission breaking down. I also invested some money on transmission fluid cooler. I believe it also improves performance longevity of your transmission. Just FYI, I have a couple of years of experience towing with different vehicles, including Toyota Tacoma, Chevy Tahoe, and Toyota Sequoia. Uh, last two of which are a cylinder engine. And at the time it was towing about 3,000 pound trailer, but it was not aerodynamic. Uh, even though it was a teardrop shape, so I found that there was a lot of wind resistance and a drag. I was really happy to see this number go up. You know, I don't really do this for money. It just makes, makes me feel good that the people are watching my videos, and I'm hoping that people will find it helpful. So, thank you for subscribing. It makes me feel good. <laughs> and I did me that's a little bit, you know, good for my ego. Thank you. And Budweiser, please sponsor me. Thank you for watching my video. We'll see you next time. Until then, take care.